wheel exposed. Um, but th th that is not something that jumped out to me as a, as a big concern. Hey, what's up? Duff here. Long time no talk from the hobby room. I haven't been in the hobby room for a while. Hey, I'm, I'm sitting here and I wanted to talk about um, my decision. When did I do it? Was it Friday? I think it was Friday. To finally cancel my my uh, pre-order for the King Song S20 or S22. And I just wanted to talk about the, the whole um, journey, the whole situation, and uh, just let you guys know why I decided to do it. Um, definitely not saying that uh, it's something that I advise for everybody, but for my situation, um, I feel pretty good about it. You know, I think it was the right, the right decision for me. So anyways, to recap, uh, the first day that I could order or pre-order an S20 from eWheels, I did it, which was back in August of 2021. Uh, I'll put the exact date here. I don't remember the exact date, like mid-August, I think it was. <clears throat> I was so excited about this wheel. Um, it, it just, it, it looked fantastic. The specs sounded great and it was from King Song, you know, a brand that I trust um, more or less. Um, I, you know, I had I already had the King Song S18, which I which I really was impressed by, and it seemed like the King Song S20 was taking uh, the S18 to the next level. You know, giving it a bigger battery, double the battery size, more aggressive suspension, some crazy uh, cool looks. I was so excited for that wheel. Originally, when that wheel was ordered, um, we were told that the approximate time frame uh, to get it hopefully would be by the end of 2021. Yes, I know those of you that have uh, been waiting for theirs as long as me, you may recall that, that originally they were having a timeline of, yeah, yeah maybe by the end of the year, uh, we'll start shipping wheels. So obviously that didn't happen for a, a multitude of reasons. You know, there's all sorts of supply chain issues. Um, supposedly back then, uh, King Song said that one of the things that was delaying uh, the release of the production wheel was work on the BMS, the BMS to support the 126 volt uh, platform. Um, I guess they, they said that they needed extra work to do that. So long story short, things just got pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. Uh, we started seeing some test wheels in China and then they, they sent out test wheels to other areas of the world. And uh, that wheel, those wheels were tested hard, very, very hard. Um, the EVs guys, uh, they, took, they, <clears throat> they took a couple of the S20s uh, on a cross country circuit and um, they were beat to hell. But for the most part, they, they performed well. You know, for, for the most part, all of the feedback that they were getting was good. Um, but then, of course, um, the wheel made its rounds in New York City and uh, wound up having probably the most famous PEV fire that uh, we've ever seen. It had a uh, spectacular fire. I don't know if that's the right adjective to use, but it was, uh, yeah, it was crazy. It all of a sudden threw a monkey wrench into the uh, S20 timeline. It set off a whole chain of events. And uh, you know, for, there, there were definitely issues. There were, there were definitely issues and, and uh, it's good that it happened in retrospect so those issues could be addressed. But of course, another side effect of that is more delays. The, the wheel was delayed, 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 delayed. Um, <clears throat> And shortly after that fire happened, I mean, eWheels actually had um, a container of 40 of the S20s uh, coming to their warehouse, uh, which as far as you know, they still have all 40 of those wheels. So anyways, I, I tried to be patient. I tried to be as patient as I could. It's frustrating. It's frustrating, you know, waiting for anything, of course. And, and it's, you know, I'm used to waiting. I'm used to waiting for, for wheels. You know, I've waited three months, four months, five months for, for wheels. I've never waited 11 months for a wheel and I haven't gotten it yet. So anyways, everybody knows about all the delays, all the problems, all the issues. Now, like I said, I had my pre-order through eWheels and eWheels uh, has taken a different stance from all the other dealers in the world, basically. eWheels refused to sell the S20s with the, um, the 
LG 50LT batteries, I believe, if I have, I have my model number right. They didn't want to sell that. Instead, um, eWheels was insisting that for their shipment um, that Samsung 40T batteries are used instead. So that decision, and, and the decision was based on the 40Ts having a, a much higher continuous output rating. They're, they're, they're higher performance cells. Um, unfortunately, the trade-off of those higher performance cells is less uh, capacity. So instead of being a 2200 watt hour wheel, you're gonna have a wheel that has a watt hour um, rating of uh, sub 2000. I had heard it's 1700 something. Someone else told me it was 1900 something. I, I kind of think it might be more like 1700 something based on uh, the other situations where 40 Ts have been swapped in uh, for uh, like the 50 E batteries or the Samsung batteries. So it's gonna be much less range, uh, although a higher um, theoretical continuous discharge rate, um, which I guess for some people would be good. If you're an aggressive rider, uh, if you're always riding at the bleeding edge. Yeah, okay, okay that, that's great. But my reality, and I think the reality of the majority of EUC riders is, it's not that I don't need a, a battery pack with 40 uh, T cells. I don't need a, a high performance battery pack. I would rather have more range. But with uh, the E wheels order, that is not an option. Like the, the only wheel you can get is the one with the 40 Ts. So because of this, because of that decision to only sell 40 T batteries, the E-Wheels order uh, has gotten delayed further. Uh, as of this week, people started taking deliveries of their uh, Kingsong S22s. People that ordered uh, much, much later than I did. And to be quite honest, it frustrated me. It, it really frustrated me. You know, I, I've, because of what I do, I kind of like to get wheels early in the cycle. And I thought that's what I was doing by putting down a deposit the first day possible. And instead we have guys that, uh, that ordered uh, much, much later getting their wheels already. So that, that rubbed me the wrong way. Now I understand the situation. You know, I've actually, I've talked to Jason and uh, there, there's all sorts of, of other things going on that is making doing business very difficult uh, for e-wheels and, and, and other um, electric unicycle dealers down the road, I'm sure. But the bottom line is as a customer, uh, I was frustrated uh, by, by, by that, by, by one of the first to, to put money down and, uh, and, I'll, and I'll probably be one of the last to, to get one. And well, at this point I won't be getting one at all because I canceled my order. I canceled my order on Friday. I told Jason to, um, to uh, cancel my order. I just said that, right? So anyways, so the, the reasons, the reasons that I'm doing it, frustration, you know, that, 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 that it, was, it was basically the straw that broke the camel's back. You know, when I started seeing other people getting them and, and the ETA on, on the shipment for um, e-wheels, maybe August, maybe people will see those wheels in August, who knows. Um, I had made a request to just send me one of those original 40 wheels. I would put the firmware update on it, just send it to me, I'd be fine. I don't care if it has Samsung 50 LT batteries in it. Uh, and that, that request didn't happen. Um, at one point, eWheels was going to put the, the Samsung 40T batteries in those 40 wheels that they already had. Uh, and uh, that was supposed to be something that happened in May, potentially. That didn't happen either. So it just, it gets, you know, from a customer perspective, it just gets, it's frustrating. Um, usually, you know, I prefer situations where um, people under promise and over deliver. And that has definitely not been the case here, unfortunately. It's, it's, uh, it's frustrating. Like I know, I know someone that had their e-wheels pre-order in. I think he was in the, in the very early stages like me. And he was told that, you know, not gonna get the wheel until August or whatever. He canceled his order and he ordered from, I think my, if my dates are correct, he canceled his order with e-wheels. He placed an order for an S22 through RevRides on the 21st of June and he had it the 26th of June, five days later. So yeah, how do you like those apples? <laughs> Uh, frustrating. So anyways, so yeah, frustration. Frustration of the situation. Definitely a, a strong part of my decision. Uh, another another part of this is I have been talking to Ian from Speedy Feet. I reached out to him uh, probably, I don't know, almost two weeks ago at this point. I said, Ian, I, I know that you're not selling the EX20S on your site, but would you be able to broker getting one uh, for me? Basically, he would place the order and it would just get shipped directly to me. And we are in the process of working that out. So my hope is I am going to have a Bagode EX20S high torque uh, coming my way uh, sooner rather than later. That is the hope. 
So um, with having that wheel, I don't know that um, I would need an S22 anyways in that situation. Um, and, and there are things about the S22 in general that are less than stellar. You know, the suspension system, the, the recurring feedback you get from people saying how uh, the suspension is stiff and uh, if it gets dirty, which it is very apt to do with that design with the channels, uh, it, it, it starts to, to bind up and it requires regular maintenance to keep that clean, um, which isn't appealing to me. There's been some, uh, already with these wheels that have landed, there's been some QC issues that I've heard about, uh, inconsistencies, like like evidently, even though they all came together, certain wheels will have certain components or, or, or changes, certain wheels will not. That's a little weird. Uh, I heard some issues with the charging as well, that it wasn't charging to 100%, which was an issue with the pre-production wheels that I thought was supposedly fixed, um, but possibly it is not. And um, yeah, just in general, I don't know. I mean, the, the passage of time and all of the BS that, that um, you know, I've been you know dealing with just trying to, to get the damn wheel, it really just sort of changed my, my feelings about it. I just, I lost my excitement for it. And with the, the master being, uh, being out with the EX 20 uh, S uh, being available now because my whole my whole desire this entire time and I've talked about it on multiple videos my whole desire has been to have a uh, wheel with Sherman like capacity with suspension that's what that's what I want and that's what I thought the S20 would be even though it didn't have as big of a battery as a Sherman I thought it would you know it would get me you know 60 miles of range so that that would be close enough but it's you know it's just it's it's not that it, it is not that um, the S20 is an interesting wheel uh, I, I know some people that have them that like them a lot but I think for me the the the, the, the uh, EX20S is actually going to be a better fit you know so we shall see. So that's 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 it in a nutshell, guys. Cancel the order. That's the first. That's the first order I think I've ever canceled. I think. Um, so yeah, and yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not blaming e wheels. You know, it's, like I said, there, there's all sorts of of BS going on there that 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 um, they are dealing with. The the gist of what I got out of my conversation uh, with Jason is the last thing I would want to be in my life is an electric unicycle dealer. I mean, there is so much uh, just shit going on. There's so much liability, potential liability with fires, uh, frivolous lawsuits over, over injuries. I mean, all kinds of crap going on. So um, I, I feel badly for them. But, you know, in this situation, I just had to do what, what was right with me. Um, the, the other the only uh, the other thing that did come into consideration, like I said, is, um, you know, with me buying the EX20S and then if I would buy a, the S22 as well, that's, you know, that's potentially, uh, you know, $6,000 of, of electric unicycle purchases. Now, I would I would sell my Sherman. You know, if I get the EX20S, I'll be selling my Sherman to help offset that. Maybe sell another device, but still, that that's a huge chunk of change. And I have all sorts of expenses kind of closing in on me at the same time right now. Um, I'm having all the windows in the house replaced. I'm going on a couple trips. Uh, I have to get the Tesla fixed from when I, when I backed into a car. So I got a lot of things to spend money on right now. So um, in the big picture, it makes sense for me anyways uh, to not be buying two electric unicycles right now anyways. That's it, guys. That's my story. It'll be interesting to follow other people that have gotten the wheels. Uh, hopefully the the problems are minor and and uh, few and far between maybe down the road i would get an s20 i don't know you know i got i eventually got the z10 you know, i didn't get the z10 when it came out even though i was very very excited about the z10 when that was originally announced so maybe maybe down the road the s22 will um will be a better wheel and uh, good enough that i would want to uh, spend uh, money on it again and maybe maybe i could get it within uh, you know a, a couple weeks instead of uh, almost a year so yeah, I think this is going to probably be the last time that I, I jump on the pre-order bandwagon like this because it's just, it's it's too long. It's it's too long. Too long to wait. It really is. So that's all I got, guys. I uh, That's all I got, guys. If you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting your channel. Please consider subscribing. I mean, how many how many videos did I, did I do talking about the S20 and the S22? I mean, God, I was so excited about that wheel. Sigh. So anyways, guys, feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. If, uh, if you're watching this video, maybe you want to become a subscriber. Uh, if you're going to subscribe, maybe you want to hit the notify bell, which is over there somewhere. You can hit that notify bell, be notified of uh, all future videos, live streams, all that kind of stuff. You know, my live streams are kind of spur of the moment, so it, it does help to have that notify uh, bell clicked. 
and I'm going to be doing a review video for a new helmet I was sent uh, from Exnito. Exnito. Um, it, it's really, it, it seems to be a really impressive product, so I'm kind of excited to uh, review it uh, more so than the hoverboard. So, yeah, that'll come uh, sometime this weekend. So, that's all I got, guys. Hope you're having a great weekend so far. Until next time, Duff Man out. I'm gonna have to edit the shit out of that. Man, oh man. Diarrhea of the mouth. Whoops, oh shit. Did you guys know I had a glowy light here? Look at that, wow. Run off a battery pack, no less.